Well, hello everyone and welcome to my corner of the universe. It's Vlogmas 2020. It's December the 9th. So here we go. Right. It's not like I don't have enough Christmas decorations. And I made some of these last year and I realized I, I needed a few more. So I think I'm probably going to make some more red ones and probably some more let's move it up some more of the really really gold ones i have enough of the others to go on the little holly berries you might be asking yourself what is she making that out of well i'll show you here we go these those and those yep i'm using espresso capsules <laughs> So while we chat today, I'm just going to be uh, cutting them apart, as it were, and let's see how we go. I'm just doing the basic bits of them. And I'm just using ordinary pair of scissors, nothing um, terribly weird about it. I just think that the capsules are so pretty. The colors are really, really beautiful. I know you can recycle them. But I tend to use all of the bits, and I have a lot of capsules now, some that people gave me, so no, I didn't drink all of the coffee, but uh, I do drink enough coffee to keep me kind of kind of going. But I haven't used this one before, so we're going to see what this is like when I do when I do the petals of them. So here we go. So, oh, it's Friday. Fridays I find that are, I love Fridays. I tend to to sleep in on Fridays only long enough to feed the cats. I have to get up to feed the cats, but I might go back to sleep in the morning just for that little bit of extra because I can. It always seems that Fridays is a good day for that. I'm usually up and, and going by Saturday and Sundays. I don't really sleep in at that point. But uh, Fridays is my morning for kind of me and I might make me a cup of tea and I might play a little play a few games on my iPad I like playing I used to play Shadowgun Legends a lot um, my guild is still doing very well they're still number one in the world and I'm still in touch with a few of the people from that group but most of us who originally started with the game aren't playing much anymore See, even these bits are, are really nice, and I keep them, and I use them for things. So we'll just put all the, the dross in the container over here. And there's always these, there's already these little grooves. So I just use that. And that is the size. I'll just get one of the little leaves. That's the size of the little leaf, is that? How cool is that? That's quite neat. <clears throat> and I do play a little um, Call of Duty Mobile, because I like it. And yes, I'm almost 70, and most of the people I play with are way younger than me. I'm not a great player, but I'm okay. But I've been playing um, Apex Legends lately. My goal is to get to diamond on uh, both uh, both of the the ways you can do it. So I'm on my way, as they say. But this weekend, I'm starting to think much more about Christmas and Christmas decorations and things I wanna things I wanna do, things I wanna how I want my house to look. And so I will, <laughs> tomorrow I will put the tree up, one of the trees, I have two. One's a small one, one's, one's a kind of a five footer, which is quite, which is fine for me. We used to get taller trees, but I now have a forever tree instead of a of a fresh one this year for the last couple of years, mainly because I just don't have uh, the facility to to have a, have a real tree anymore. So I bought a tree I really love, and 
it's a little more rustic in in nature it's has a bit more sp space between the boughs and stuff it's not a totally full tree but I just love it keep that for something else oh let's see how we go here this is the shape I'm looking to make I'll just undo the that bit so you can see and there's a little bit of glue on it because that one came apart so I'll just take that little piece of glue off and so where the bit at the bottom is we're just going to make a little let's see if I can remember how to do this because it's been a while since I've done these let's just make it just a gentle curve and there we go and then that's my little I think I might make that just a little better shape there too. Yeah, we'll see how those work. So I have my forever tree. And oops, I'm really sorry about that. That's how you can tell this was recorded live. And so I'll part, start to put my little forever tree up. And I have some nice garland that goes around. I might have to start this again because I'm just, well, I think we'll go with it. I'm still having trouble with this stupid cold. But there you go. Tis the season. At least I don't feel so bad. It's just kind of yucky having a cold and cough and sniffles and stuff. When I was little and I had cough and sniffles and cold, I think just like a lot of moms did, you could almost always count on getting a brand new box of crayons and a brand new coloring book. Heaven. One of the first years that I taught, in fact, it was about this time of year, I got, again, really ill. And I was living by myself about 45 minutes from home, teaching in a small farming community. And I was off school for, oh, four or five days, I suppose, because I was quite ill. I had to go see the doctor and it was antibiotics and shot and the whole, whole works. And my mom came and picked me up and made me go home. <laughs> I was in my early 20s and took care of me. And she brought me brand new coloring book and crayons, which I did do. I love coloring. I, I, the coloring was great. I still think coloring is fun and drawing is fun. But there's something quite uh, just makes my heart go pitter pat is when you get new crayons or new pens or new pencils or you see a pad of paper that says use me buy me so i have a i have a little tiny well not that tiny but not too bad of a stationery shop in my house <laughs> as it were of things that i've bought that i just love to use really really pretty um notebooks oh i'll show you this one Ooh, it's copper and it's shiny how pretty is that and this is where i put all of my um ideas for uh you can't see them in that but all my ideas for my channel and anything that I needed to need to learn for my channel and as this is Ecamm fam um, there's quite a few notes from all of the streams that Katie and Doc and all the other guys all the other fab guys have done 
of things that I might, things I just might need to think about or things I need to consider or hadn't thought of before. I think that might be enough of those for the moment. Uh, don't want to do that one. Let's cut this one off too. This is the one where the magic's... I'm just going to keep hitting that, aren't I? I don't know if I can do this with this. I'd usually do this in a different part of the of my workroom, but today we're just doing it here. As you cut off the little silver room as close as you can to the silver rim. A bit like that. I never throw those bits out. I can always keep them because I can use them for something else. And then this next little tiny rim, you, you cut off just to the tiny rim. And theoretically, magic should happen. Let's see if it'll happen today or not. And you'll see that it has almost a little natural curl to it. I just need... Using my chair to get over to the other part of my office. And the part that you make the little berries out of is from this. And all you do is wind it around around something rather small. This is really malleable, which I think is kind of cool. And I just wind the whole thing around. And I think that's enough for two berries. If it breaks and I don't have quite enough, it's not a big deal. And by doing that, let me pull it off. Isn't that cute? And I cut them in half. And then I just kind of just squish the ends together a little bit till it makes kind of a little, a little berry shape. How cute is that? It's that thing of repurposing, isn't it? And I think when the berries are done, they're really pretty. That's my little berries. So I've got a little leaf. And I'll pull that through the other way because it has a natural curve and so that the curve goes out. And eventually I'll just glue that onto the end and it'll be a little leaf and a berry. I'll put up a picture of what the one last year looks like because I'm going to, it's just going to be a continuation of that one. But it's quite, there's something about doing handiwork that just keeps me centered. It makes sure that I, I don't know, I just feel more relaxed. I always try and do a little bit of something first thing in the morning. At the moment I'm, I'm knitting a little scarf. And I'm also working on, in fact, unfortunately, because I am not quite as, I'm a little more still under the weather a little bit, and we have a concert on Sunday, and I kind of have to make sure that i am got enough energy to do that well. I was supposed to be going to visit some friends out in Norfolk this weekend. I'm taking a, uh, a course. It's, it's my mini vacation, or, or what I'm calling a holiday. Um, because I haven't really had a holiday for several years, a proper holiday. It's actually a course that goes from October till March. It's an advanced crochet course making a really beautiful kind of a blanket or an afghan or a small blanket. But I think I'm going to use it as a wall hanging because it's going to be way too pretty to just use as a little blanket, I think. And the course is out in Norfolk at the yarn shop there. They are so lovely. 
really lovely people and the people on my course there's five of us that are taking the course I'll miss I'll be sorry to miss them because it's obviously the last time we will see each other before the before the holidays sometimes that there's a little membrane inside these as well sometimes there isn't one on this one but on older ones or slightly else and maybe they've start, started making them a little bit differently let's see if i can get that one out if i can't i'll just do it later but they're a lovely bunch of people everybody is you, every, on the first day, we went and picked out all our colors that we wanted to use for our particular blanket. And really pleased with my colors. We're using uh, Rowan Tweed, I think. Is it Tweed? Anyway, there's pretty stuff. And so I'll be used, doing quite a lot of that once my house is decorated. And I can sit down in the light of my Christmas tree and just watch a Christmas movie, maybe have an eggnog. Yes, it will be spiked. Sit and do some nice needlework. It'll be fun. That's not going to come out now, is it? Ah! But you can see there's a little fil film on, on these. Oh, I'll get that one out later. I can't be bothered now. And it's about time that we go. So, I hope you have a wonderful day today and try and make something. Make anything. Take out a pencil and paper and just doodle. See how it feels. Check around your house. And if you happen to go to the grocery store, treat yourself to a new box of crayons. It's really going to make your heart go pitter pat. I hope. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So, from my corner of the universe to yours, have a good one. It's that time of the day again. Let's find out what today's little ducky will be. An accessory, a ducky. All the duckies are waiting very patiently to see what it is. Here we go. Little ones are a little harder. Oops, here we go. Don't know what it's going to be though. Come on. Oh, that one's really temperamental. Here we go. Number nine. Oh, it looks like a little ducky. Excellent. Let's pull him out and see what he's like. Oh, it's another little black ducky. We got twins. Little black twin duckies. How cute is that? Excellent. I'm really happy about that. Oh, you can have the little hat then. How's that? Because you're the new little ducky and you've just been born. So we'll put that hat over your head. I'm afraid you're going to have a hard time seeing. There we go. Brilliant. And that's it. Ta-da!